Well, what's going on, Colts Nation? I appreciate you joining me for another video where today I want to talk a little bit about one of our wide receivers and and really the deal that one of our wide receivers got. You think about Michael Pittman Jr. and the deal that he got, and it's just day by day there's more receivers getting deals, and the Pittman Jr. deal just seems better and better every single day that goes by. And the latest contract to come out, was one of my favorite players, um, the only non-Colts jersey I currently have, Justin Jefferson, getting a new deal, four years, $140 million, $88.743 million guaranteed, uh, $110 million total guarantees. With that 88.743, it's more of a signing bonus uh, that he's getting right off rip. He averages $35 million a year is what that comes out to. So Justin Jefferson getting a massive contract. Uh, the cap number for him, gun hurt the Vikings for a little while. Luckily, they have a quarterback on a rookie contract and quarterback contracts, at least for the moment, are higher than wide receivers. So you play in, play in the numbers game. They went ahead, got rid of Kirk. Bring in Justin Jefferson. We're not here to completely talk about just Jeff Justin Jefferson, but he did get a huge bag. Again, $35 million a year. Nick Bosa is making $34 million a year. And until Justin Jefferson signed his contract, Nick Bosa was the highest paid non-quarterback in the NFL. And when you look again at what Michael Pittman Jr. just signed, a three-year deal, $70 million. That's 23 million. Point three million dollars per year, forty one million dollars guaranteed, and in total guarantees, it's forty six million. So most of his guarantees was guaranteed at signing, and then again, total value up to seventy million dollars for Michael Pittman Jr. And you look at just some of the other receivers that have signed contracts this offseason very recently. Jalen Waddle, three years, $84.75 million. Now, he's a number two wide receiver on the team that he's on, but he could be a number one wide receiver, which is why he gets paid the way he gets paid, right? But even still get number two wide receiver, and Michael Pittman Jr. is getting paid four, almost $15 million less in total value uh, than Jalen Waddle. You look at Amon Ross St. Brown, incredible wide receiver, four years, $120 million, so getting $30 million uh, every single season or, or per year is what it is. And so another receiver making more money, getting paid this offseason. And then you have A.J. Brown, who signed a three-year contract worth $96 million. That is $32 million a year on the extension. Before Justin Jefferson signed his contract, A.J. Brown had the most guaranteed money for a receiver in NFL history with $84 million guaranteed. So a massive contract signed by A.J. Brown. And then Nico Collins in the division, and somebody that hasn't even been as prolific or at least you know to the, to the mainstream media at least that as Michael Pittman Jr. has been Nico Collins got three years 72.75 million dollars so it's not a whole lot more but it is a bigger contract than Michael Pittman Jr. so you look at all of this and what the Colts have in Michael Pittman Jr. and how long they have him like what they're paying for him and what receivers are getting paid, right? When A.D. Mitchell and Josh Downs, when those guys are ready for those contracts, could be massive numbers, especially A.D. Mitchell, you know, with Josh Downs being a slot guy. We'll see how the numbers are affected there. Um, but A.D. Mitchell could be a massive contract. And then here we are sitting with Michael Pittman Jr. Again, $23.3 million, a three-year extension for Michael Pittman Jr. It's going to be great uh, to have him back. We get him for three years. We'll see what happens after that point. Of course, a lot of contracts going to come up, right? Anthony Richardson, um, Josh Downs, Juju Brantz, A.D. Mitchell the next season, like, a lot of young talent that could be getting paid by the Colts in the future. That's years down the road. I just enjoy Michael Pittman Jr., the contract that we have. We have, you know, again, all these guys in front of making 35, 32, 30, 30, 28, 28, 26, 25. So many guys making big money. You know, Devontae Smith, another guy, got paid this offseason. Tyree Kill trying to get his deal reworked. So a lot of money being paid to wide receivers. And Michael Pittman Jr., for what he does and for, for as good as he is coming in uh, with a team-friendly deal, um, but a guy that just wanted to stay in Indy, took the deal uh, that he thought was fair, took the deal um, that was offered to him. So again, glad we have Michael Pittman Jr. on the team for years to come. I'd like to know what you think about all this. 
you know, the, the wide receiver money and, and what should teams start to do with, you know, wide receivers and quarterbacks and how it's going to go. What do you think is going to happen in the future? Let's just have a discussion in the comments. You let me know. Of course, make sure you're subscribed with notifications on so you continue to get notified anytime any videos are coming out on this channel. Of course, I appreciate you stopping by for another video. As always, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and go Colts.